Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Joel, and although I am in uh, an interesting position, this is not pornography. That is not allowed on this website. This is just me vlogging with my boy, Finn. Say hi to the camera, Finn. Or lick your shoulder. I guess that would be like a cat's shoulder. Is that your shoulder? Pretty close to it? Okay. Yeah, I was going to record a uh, some gameplay. I have a lot of gameplay or random ideas. I got some trips coming up, so I got to get some videos recorded. And I am still sick, but taking a lot of medicine. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you probably wouldn't know that I've been sick for the past four or so days. I get sick pretty badly about once a year. Sometimes twice a year, I guess, now I'm getting older. But this was the once a year. Every one of my friends is sick in real life and on the internet. So I guess it's just something going around the country. And yeah, I just want to talk to you guys, I guess, update you on Finn. He's doing all right. He's been sick as well. But we, oh, you see yourself? We got him some medicine, and we're still waiting. I had to take a uh, a Ziploc bag of his uh, fecal matter, is what the vets call it, to the vet's office. And uh, I had to pay, so I had to get the, the, the kitty shit out of the litter box, and I put it in a Ziploc bag, and then I put that Ziploc bag in a bigger Ziploc bag because I didn't want it to smell bad in my car. And uh, then I took it to the vet's office and they said, all right, this costs $35 for us to, to test this. And I was thinking, man, they should pay me for bringing this in here. I don't want to handle this stuff. I didn't know it cost money. So, and they're like, do you want to pay now or pay later? So I made the smart financial decision, of course, and said pay later. Hey, what's up? Uh, yeah. Get your ass out of here. Your ass is costing me money, Finn. But I love him. Finn's been sleeping with Megan and I every night. And he usually gets a little squirrely around 6 a.m. We gotta kick him out of the room. If this, I don't own this. Uh, this is a townhome, so I don't own this house. It's not a, it's a, I don't own the place I'm living in. But if this was a house that I owned, I would probably, I would put a kitty door in my bedroom, let's see, my bedroom's right over, let's just do this whole vlog from the floor, because this is Finn's perspective on life, I would put a kitty door right here, let's, right here, so he could just go in and out of the, uh, in and out of the room as he pleases during the night, and that would be ideal, but I don't own the place, so I feel like the, uh, Landlords would get a little ticked about me sawing holes in doors like some cat owning maniac. Wow, my voice must sound great. I'm losing it. But I'm going to fight through because I need to get some videos up. This is my job. Uh, and I watched, Megan and I are trying to watch all the, it's like Oscar season and all the big movies that came out from last year are nominated for awards. Well, it's award season, but the award season ends with the Oscars. So Megan and I are trying to catch up on all the good movies we haven't seen. <clears throat> Sorry. And we watched Ex Machina last night, and that movie was pretty cool. It has two actors who got a lot of uh, dap this year, should we say? I don't know. They're, they're in a lot of... Well, Dom Hall Gleason has been in... Three big movies that I can think of, and I know there was another one that's nominated for awards, but he's been in Star Wars, this Ex Machina, and Brooklyn is nominated for a lot of awards, or just, I think, Best Picture in particular, and maybe Best Actress for that Irish actress, I can't remember her name, but she's the main character, uh, Sayors Ronan, or something like that, and uh, Oscar Isaac, Star Wars, and then he was nominated for Inside Lilo and Davis, uh, I said that really weird. I think it was about two years ago. I don't know what else Oscar Isaac has been in this year, but just besides, so those two are in Star Wars, so I love them. Uh, but this Ex Machina, oh, and then Alicia, Vi Alicia Vikander was in Ex Machina. She's Michael Fassbender's girlfriend on and off or whatever, but she's attractive. 
that movie was cool and it was shot in this place in Norway it was really beautiful I get I check my analytics and I get about five views from Norway a month actually it might be more than that it might be like 35 I don't know it's not that impressive uh, someone's been trying to like hack into my my YouTube channel um, well I think so at least I've, I just got like I've gotten some notifications like some uh, two-step verification got to tighten some stuff up I guess but uh, just for the if you're just watching this video uh, my analytics are not that impressive uh, Markiplier makes my uh, monthly my, or my yearly earnings in about four days so just if you want like a ballpark that's what I can give you I mean I guess if you want more whatever but uh, j but in the an in terms of the analytics uh, I get about 35 views from Norway per month let's say so if any uh, if you're watching this from Norway tell me about this place that they shot Ex Machina in I believe it's called the uh, Valadin or like the Val it's something with V-A-L-L-D-E I was like drugged up and typing this into Google last night when I was on a NyQuil trip and this is this looks like the most beautiful place in the world where they if you I mean the movie was good and stuff but it is I, I just could not get over the scenery where they shot this thing Valadin Valley something like that oh and the director also shot a movie that he shot the uh, Dread remake Judge Dread it was just called Dread it was a couple of years ago uh, I like this director that made this but I would like to visit there Megan and I have been talking about places that we're traveling which brings me uh, to what I was going to talk about with the uh, and the trips I was just checking to see if Finn was still alive he is uh, Megan and I are going to Las Vegas the 29th through the first I guess yeah I mean it for four days well like three three nights and four days um, just because Megan's never been there I have for video game related stuff and it's just you know I get really I always get really upset and moody during the month of February because it's the coldest month in Michigan it's just dreary and absolutely terrible and actually this oddly enough this winter has been the most mild winter in Michigan in a really really long time the, the previous two winters 2014-2013 had the like one of them had the coldest temperatures and the other had like the record for most snowfall in my area or something like that I don't know I'm not a meteorologist I don't keep up with weather records I'm not some old person hey did you hear about the snowfall is 62 no I didn't it gets snows every year sorry it brings back bad memories from working in customer service and talking to old people they keep up on the weather they know about it uh, but anyway I the last two winters have been the worst I like I've lived in Michigan my whole life I love Michigan I'd have a really hard time living somewhere else I at the very least want to live in Michigan and another place like California uh, like you know stay in Michigan during the summer and California in the winter I don't know but uh, the winter is, is so terrible uh, it's just the last two uh, temperature zero degrees every day I mean you don't want to go outside the the air hurts your lungs how can Finn how can we live in a place Finn how can we live in a place where the air hurts our lungs answer my question answer my question how can we live in a place where the air hurts our lungs yeah it's just it's like a little hair gel nothing too big um, but that's that situation I guess it's just it's been really bumming me out in February I'll get really depressed because it's that's when it's the worst that's when it's like is this gonna last forever I'm gonna I don't know what it is I just the last two February's Megan's like you gotta like get out of the house or something so we're gonna go uh, on a trip gives us something to look forward to for the end of the month and then we'll get back from Vegas and we can make it through the rest of February I, I'm gonna try to travel every February because there's not a lot of trips usually that happen in February's in the gaming industry there's actually one happening uh, this week I'm going uh, to San Francisco. Well, can I say where I'm going? Well, <laughs> I already said most of it. It's in California. Uh, I'm going there for something video game related. So uh, you'll see stuff from that on my channel in the near future. And I don't have anything else really planned beyond that. Obviously, not going to Pack South if I'm going to Vegas the same time that Pack South is. Finn just parkour up to the top of that chair. He's allowed to be on those chairs, but if he gets on the counter, I got to put my foot down oh do you know what this dude tried to do today Finn you want to tell him you want to tell the people what you just tried to do today so oh God.
Sorry, I do this. I know that scared you. Okay. Okay, so I was making grinders, and uh, they're just sandwiches you cook in the oven. And I opened the oven to take them out, and Finn here, who is squirming and wants to leave, because he is embarrassed, and he should be, almost hurt himself, he tried to jump in the oven when I opened the oven door. Did you think it was a kitty sauna, Finn? Did you think it was going to feel good? No, it doesn't feel good. I had, to... I had to yell at him, and I felt really bad about it. Because, I don't know, I mean, it just, I hurt his feelings. Like, he was like, Meow. but I got to protect him. I got to protect you. So, look, he's like, no, fuck you. You don't protect, look, I lick my own nuts. You don't got to do anything to me. I'm my own man. Okay. Uh, so that's about the end of this vlog, I suppose. Didn't really have a lot to talk about, obviously. But I was going to, like I said, I was going to put some gameplay up, but... <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff in my body that's not supposed to be there, so let it just be easier to vlog and just let that stuff work itself out. Hope you guys enjoyed this anyway. Gotta clean a little bit. Gotta make sure Finn doesn't... You can't go into the oven. It's a lesson we all have to learn in life. I learned it when I was young, too. Uh, I actually got stuck in the dryer one time. That's a story for another day, I suppose. I, well... I got stuck in the dryer, and then I stuck my brother in the dryer, so it's a vicious cycle. Story for another day. Like I said, thanks for watching, everyone, and peace out.